apparently I was not the only one with this idea tonight. Wow. We're not going to go over the bridge very fast. <laughs> but apparently, but apparently we will get across. I guess it's a little congested now. But how cool. Oh. Well, I was dumb. enough to anybody to miss my view. But we're not moving very fast, unfortunately. All at 20 miles an hour, and we should be going 50. The illumination of the roadway is very awesome. I mean, even right next to them, you can barely see the light. is exciting in slow-mo, is it? But it's so awesome to see it actually open. Yes, and I do hope you enjoyed the sounds from the moving truck. Maybe we'll get some distance before too long. But you can clearly see in the image that there's absolutely no glare from the lights. What would be really cool see it with actually almost no cars on it because the light's supposed to be very even and subtle on the roadway. Oh, you can see it already from here! It's a bit ways up and on the left, but you can kind of catch a glimpse of the They've got some red lights marking the cables and a flashing red light on top of the tower. I don't think I've seen that on before. Oh, oh. And if I remember right, the entire viaduct portion here is a, a, a constant 2% upgrade all, all the way from here to the tower, essentially. Although maybe it's just leading up to the to the span, but we'll see. So you don't really have a sense that you're going uphill, even though you really are. Okay, I think I am going to try to get over here. Even though I really don't want big white ugly in front of me. and I dislike SUVs. And you can see the old cantilever structure next door and it, it looks like all the lights are on but it looks so dingy and dark compared to what we're sitting on. But obviously that bridge lasted a long, long time and has seen a lot of people pass over it. More than did its duty. You can kind of catch a glimpse of the pedestrian walkway from this side, too. You know, normally I wouldn't get to really look at it, but... So, wow. So, I guess if you were really kind of paying attention, when people are walking on it, they're literally on the same level as the roadway. I mean, you'd be able to see them walking there. 
not, maybe not as close up and personal as on the Golden Gate, but they're right there. Oh, here it comes. You can see it better now. Maybe almost in the camera's view. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Bit of a curve, nothing at all like the S curve effect. I barely noticed it until I looked at the striping, so you kind of do it just naturally. They've got it banked nicely, I think. I could imagine going faster on it, but clearly that's not going to happen tonight. We'll just live with it. Oh, wow! This is so awesome. Look at it. I mean, we've been seeing it from the side for so long, even from Treasure Island, but it's so very different to actually drive underneath it now. Oh my God, look at it. We are on the span. This is freaking awesome. So amazing. Oh my God. Now, of course, we do still have to pass through the, the now clean, apparently, tunnel on Treasure Island and through the original, the still existing West Span. But I think I'll leave the camera on and capture it, just for the sake of capturing it. But this is so very different. So, so, so very different than the approach. This is going to be amazing. I just hope people don't bunch it up, bundle it up with uh, traffic. Wow, the tunnel looks amazing too. I mean, you can actually tell how much cleaner it is even at night with the lights on it. And I understand they changed all the lights on the inside with LED, so it is significantly brighter than it used to be. And then here we are, the old Miss West.